Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be unboxing the Johnny Stewart Executioner Electronic Predator Collar. I just wanted to make a review for you guys so in case you don't know what it's like or you want to know before you buy it, you can see this review. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here's the speaker. As you can see, it has this, this, this that you can pause the video and read any of that if you want i'm not going to read that just because i already did so we're going to go ahead open this up it says something on the front there if you want to pause it go ahead and read that um just going to open this up and these do this does require batteries you don't charge it um you set that there so okay so looks like this is a remote right here uh, it comes with a strap. I assume just to put it around your wrist so you don't lose it. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has a bunch of buttons on there, so you're going to have to learn what those all are. Set that down right there. Then you have the actual collar right here. So this is what you'd put out in like a field or a tree or anything really. Where you're trying to call the animal in to shoot it or whatever you could do. And uh, there it is. It's pretty cool, and here's the here's a auxiliary attachment you can use with a decoy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, in case you want like a, a decoy that makes sound, at, now you can add some features too. Um, looks like this is about it. I assume this is the on switch. I'm not gonna put that on yet. Put them back. Looks like this is a mount of some sort. Not sure what that's for, so let's see. And well, there are absolutely no instructions. This is it for the box. So, all right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna read around the back, see if I can find any instructions for this, and I will get back to you guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead, got some batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. So, the remote by itself requires four, and then the speaker itself requires, I believe, eight or six. I'm pretty sure it's eight, though, batteries. I'll confirm that later. And uh, so a total of 12 batteries, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in right here for you. Okay guys, so I actually did a bit more digging and actually did find the manual. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up. And it looked like it actually gave you some sort of um, clip for the speaker, I'm pretty sure, to hook the speaker up to. I'm pretty sure it's up to this part right up there. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, read the manual, see what it says to do first. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So after doing a little bit of reading, it says right here, game caller, press and hold the power button for two seconds. And for the remote, press and hold the power button for two seconds. The remote screen will power on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. One, two. Okay, that should be on. Then this power button, where is it? Here it is. One, two. There you go, that is powered on. Now it says, once both the game caller and the remote are turned on, you are ready to begin using your game caller. Play a call, press the remote's call library button, the screen will blah, blah, blah. Using the up and down arrow button on the remote, highlight the animal category of the list of calls associated with the category you selected. Press enter play to hear the highlighted call, stop the call, pause the call, decoy. Okay, so, Basically, it's pretty straightforward. Um, let me go ahead and take this plastic off there for you. There you go. Now, here you can have your own custom calls. I don't know how that works. I assume maybe you make a call. Well, let's see if that'll focus. There you go. Hopefully that will, uh, maybe you can make your own call or something. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and go to the call library. Oh, here you go. You got coyote, crow, elk, hogs, javelina, predators, raccoons, snow geese, 
turkey, and white-tailed deer. So we're going to go ahead and go to white-tailed deer. You have antler rattling, antler and buck distress, antler raking, bug grunt, contact grunt, doe bleat, doe bleats, estrus bleat, lost fawn, rattling, snort wheeze, white tail fawn. So let's go ahead and play a doe bleat. Let's see how that sounds. So just going to go ahead and um, set that right there. So let's go ahead and play that, I guess. There you go. So that was the call. Actually, pretty loud. Sounded pretty good for a doe bleat. Coming across many does walking on the land. That is actually what it sounds like. So it is pretty accurate, I'd say. Uh, let's go ahead and do a buck grunt. There you go. So that was the buck grunt. Let's do some antler rattling. Okay, that was the antler rattling. Still going. Okay, so that was it. Where's mine? It's still going. Okay, pause that. <clears throat> uh, let's go to... Let's do a raccoon. Let's see if we can do a raccoon here. Coon and fight bird. Okay. Okay, so that is currently hurting my ears extremely bad. So that's pretty loud. I assume it works. Hopefully it does. Um, so let's go to the... Um, Custom calls. Let's see what that is. Coon, fiber, antler, rattling. Oh, these are the calls that you previously did. Uh, so I assume you can put these in a quick set or a preset. Uh, so if you're going, let's say, deer hunting, you can use your deer preset, turkey hunting, turkey preset, so on and so forth. Uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, brightness. That's good. So you have four quick sets or presets you can do. That's actually pretty nice. Um, and it's there's its own buttons for it so you can actually also favorite a sound so if i say favorite i can choose any of these sounds press and hold and enter to add a call to a slot press enter on the slot to play that call okay i'm not gonna go do that now so there you go so i think that's basically how it works um so you can half the volume with this right here 50 percent button that's called volume half so it'll cut the volume in half uh i'm not quite sure what the volume is at now i don't know oh you can see that right up here right here in the top left hand corner of the camera or of the yeah of the camera it says uh volume seven i think it'll go all the way up to 10 oh 11 oh it goes way past that. Let's see how far it goes. So it goes up to 20. If I press a half, it'll go to 10. Okay, so that's nice to know. And here's the brightness of the remote here. So it, so the highest it goes is to 5. That's also nice. So it's nice and bright for you to see. Alright guys. So as, my, as for my opinion of this camera, I really like it. Let me give you a couple pros and cons. Uh, a pro is that it's obviously electronic. You definitely don't have to bring a manual um, collar that you have to use with your mouth. It's really nice that you can just push a button and it plays the call you want. Uh, con, definitely that you have to use batteries for it. Even though there's not that many batteries, it'd really be nice if you could have um, a le uh, something to charge it because if you can charge it in the last a couple days you don't have to keep on buying batteries and batteries another con i would really like if it had more presets probably like 10 or so i would say that only four is not enough especially for people who would buy this and definitely go hunting a lot and would use more presets at only four 
Uh, so I really recommend that you guys buy this camera. If you enjoyed my review and unboxing of it, definitely leave a like down below. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.